The president's team included his advisors Gail Teixeira and Odinga Lumumba and Public Works Minister Robson Ben. The president met residents at the Watuka Guest House, who were also given a chance to interact with him and his team on matters of concern. President Ramatar told residents government has been trying its best to reach a consensus. However, he notes that no government has all the resources to satisfy all citizens. I had announced that we were suspending the July 1st date and we are ready to talk to find an agreed position that we can begin with to implement at a smaller rate and at a slower rate for people to have a cut-off period of time and to have smaller increases so that people could adjust to the increases much more easy, in a much easier manner. All of that was rejected, but now where we are at this point in time, we agreed that we will set up a joint committee, a joint technical committee, to look at this matter, to examine it in its totality, and for that committee to try to finish its work within two months, um, with regular report back to us, so that we can try to find a solution to that issue. President Ramatar also reminded residents of the many advantages of Linden, especially for investment. He says government has been looking to attract many kinds of investments so that life at Linden can be returned to normalcy. Residents were also told of steps that have been so far taken with regard to the events of July 18 last. We have decided to set up a commission of inquiry. That commission of inquiry, we have gone a far way working with the other two political parties, we have agreed, almost agreed, we have agreed with, more or less with APNO, trying to finalize agreement with AFC on the term of reference of that committee, and we will start that investigation as early as possible, and even to include um, some people coming from overseas to do an inquiry of what took place here, to get to the bottom of the tunnel. Following this meeting at the Watuka House, the president and team toured sections of the town and interfaced with residents. Some weeks ago, the president had attempted to visit the community, but residents blocked the roads. It was then decided that members of the joint services would clear the roadways, making possible today's visit to the mining town.